these are 12 pain that you should never ever ignore if you notice this pain please don't ignore it and for those that don't even experience pain at all those that say that since they have been in the hospital since they've been born that they've not gone to the hospital before you have to be very very careful it is not always a good thing in fact Pain is one thing that God has used to help us because when you notice that you're having pain, that is when you go to seek medical help. But there are some deadly illnesses like cancer that don't show symptoms that you won't have pain before that pain comes and you now go to the hospital. It is already too late. Some deadly illnesses too, that doesn't show symptoms like high blood pressure. You will be okay walking around. You think you're okay. Before the pain comes, probably your chest start paining you or you faint and then they now rush you to the hospital. It's now kidney failure. So if you are fortunate enough to notice a pain in your body, why would you take it for granted? Some people don't experience pain. By the time they experience pain, it's already late for them. So please listen attentively to this video. And if it is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and put on your notification button for me. So that whenever I send, you know, my videos are not nonsense. I, I do videos that will educate you just that they take time because I want you to understand. And I put it in a term that will help you understand better. Okay. So let's get to it. Number one pain. My name is Nosmet. I'm a nephrology nurse. Basically, dialysis kidney is my specialty. If you have any questions in regards to them, put them in the comment section or you can book a consultation with me by uh checking the description box. My uh, uh my whatsapp details will be there if you want to also book a consultation with a specialist or a doctor still chat the same number make a consultation they will get back to us and tell you the time to call so that you can talk to anyone you want to talk to now let's get it with the kinds of pain you should never 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 ignore number one pain with loss of function what does this mean this is when you probably injured yourself or probably you hit your head on the on a, on a nail or injured yourself that you can see it but it's not painful that is a serious problem it means that they have been your nerves are damaged you can't feel pain again something wrong has happened and you know for people that are diabetic when this thing happens they won't know and gradually it will not heal gradually it becomes infected and it becomes a gangrene that they know by the time they have seen somebody that you know uh, a, a, a nail as long as a nail that is more than the size of my hand like this very long nail was pulled out of the person's leg and the nail has been there for months because the person didn't know it went all the way inside so anything that makes you you enjoy yourself but you can't feel the pain there rush to the hospital okay it can be a serious thing i don't want this video to be unnecessarily long that's why i am you know not going into the main details number two pain that you should not ignore is pain that i uh no let me not put it as number two number two is sharp pain sharp heart pain if you notice a sharp heart pain your chest or chest heart be sharp is very sharp please don't ignore this kind of pain for any reason rush to the hospital if this has happened one, two, three times, please don't ignore it and rush to the hospital, okay? This may be an intended sign of heart attack or probably is going on in your heart. Remember, if you want to talk to a cardiologist, a nephrologist, a urologist, all the gist, all the specialties, just DM that WhatsApp number and book a consultation. You will get to those doctors, okay? The next kind of pain is also a chronic back pain. If you're having a chronic back pain, please don't ignore it you can have big back pain once in a while probably the way you're you're lying down and all and the way you took some weight but chronic back pain may you know you know uh, mean that something has happened you know with your uh your the nerves at your back or or probably you have the cord compression or something has displayed piercing on your nerves okay so or your your, your spinal cord it could be anything literally probably the cancer has you know spread metastasized and 
causing you a lot of issues that you're not even aware don't ignore this kind of pain the next kind of pain that you should not ignore is painful urination whenever you are having pain while urinating do not ignore that pain it may be as a result of urinary tract infection it may be as a result of sexual transmitted infection and sexual transmitted infection when untreated can cause infertility for you urinary tract infection when untreated can damage your kidneys so please from damaging from infecting your kidneys to damaging your kidneys and systemic infection don't take you um, painful urination for granted the kind of pain again that you should not uh take for granted is a pain that is as if it is radiating to your back it's like this this is an atypical symptoms of heart failure okay so you may not be having if you're waiting for when you have heart failure symptom most of the times you may not have like a symptoms where a heart attack symptoms a symptoms where ah your chest started happening you most especially for women you may not really notice that kind of pain the pain will start as if it's radiating to your back to your jawline to your back to your neck please don't ignore that pain go and let your dog that is a typical symptom of um heart attack okay please let your doctors know immediately meanwhile if what to know when somebody is having a heart attack we'll have a video here locate it i will still see if i can put um the link on the description box and videos on how to take care of your heart videos on how to take care of your kidney just check the description box and you will see um some of those videos there okay or uh the, the pain is also radiating at your the your shoulder blades okay your jaw that means something has you know happened and if you're having a pain that is and your stomach worst severe abdominal pain it's the pain is serious please go to rush to the hospital this may be an intent uh, it, it may be a sign that probably you had an appendix that has ruptured that, that has burst open or uh, inflamed pancreas or inflamed liver or anything rush to the hospital do not ignore this pain okay the next kind of pain that you should not ignore is a kidney pain kidney pain is located around your rib cage here at your back okay any pain sometimes is sharp it goes it's sharp sometimes it's dull but it's hitting you right there please do not ignore this pain this can be a sign of kidney stone it can be a sign of kidney infection it can be a sign of kidney inflammation it can be a sign of um build up of urine in the kidneys a lot of things that have to do with the kidneys don't ignore that kind of pain the next kind of pain that you should not ignore is painful sex especially for women you should not have sex when you are you are you, are, you should not have a pain when you are having sex there are other reasons why you may have pain when you're having sex that is you know normal which could be you're not wet enough you don't have feelings for the man hormonal issues i'll put a description box the uh painful sex in women and what to do i'll put it on the description box just click on it and then you see the video so it can also be a sign of pelvic inflammatory disease endometriosis polycystic ovarian syndrome anything that gives you pain or vaginismus anything all these things i'm saying i explained it details on that video so just watch it anything that will give you pain when you're having sex is not normal please try as much as you can to see the doctor uh for that now another pain that you should not ignore is a pain that is described as the worst headache of your life you're having a serious headache you can have headache once in a while but any headache that is serious and it's chronic is something that is always happening so the headache it shouldn't be serious okay you can have headache you know but anything that makes you have the worst headache of your life please go to the hospital it's an emergency actually you can have um headaches once in a while if you're sick you know but anything that is troubling it could be as a result of your blood pressure especially if the headache is at your back this is high blood pressure okay you know your blood pressure is high i will make a video telling you what's 
the kind of headache you may be having, what it will sig um, signify, the headache you're having here, you're having here, you're having here, you're having here, what it signifies, and of course, what to do. I don't want this video to be unnecessarily long. So it could be um, high blood pressure, it, it, especially now if it is throbbing, serious, severe pain, headache, it could be probably the blood vessel has burst open as a result, or probably your blood pressure has been too high or something, you know, please. If you have serious headache, throbbing headache pain, rush to the hospital. This is abnormal. Now, if you are also having um calf, how do I put a calf? Like a leg at the back of your leg pain, calf or thigh pain. Do not take this pain for granted. Calf pain, thigh pain, don't take it for granted. It could be uh as a result especially for those that are always sitting down it could be um probably as a, you may be having deep venous thrombosis and this thing means that their clot has formed okay and this clot could just dislodge and then go on, go and you know block a major artery or block a major blood vessel and this can block your heart so whenever you notice that you're always having your current thigh calf pain Please do not take it for granted. It could be that something is blocking somewhere and you're having um thrombosis. Okay, it could be one, it can be it can be on one leg, no, or two legs, but it's usually especially on one leg. Please don't um take this for granted. Now, if you're having um a serious pain from a minor wound you just just a small pain a, a small pain a, a wound but then the pain is excruciating i beg you go and see the doctor the pain keeps you have the wound and the pain keeps getting you know worse and worse every day please go and see the doctor it may be that the wound hasn't been infected or you know something has gone through that wound please do not take it for granted the next kind of pain that you should not ignore is a serious sharp eye pain that comes out of nowhere your eyes seriously paining you like you can't explain it this may be a serious problem it probably they may um the vessels of the eye has been blocked or probably there is an internal bleeding in your eye or your retina has been detached or glaucoma it could be acute uh, angle glaucoma or no chronic acute yeah so it, it's a serious thing if you notice that all of a sudden your sh sharp eye pain just comes from nowhere please don't take it for granted and make sure you you go see a doctor the next type of pain that you should not uh, uh, ignore is a pain that comes with serious fever do not ignore it the pain could be at your throat the pain could be at your anywhere please if you're having pain and you're having serious fever obviously it's a sign of infection the the fever can be the pain can be at your back it can be your headache or anything as long as you're having pain and then you're having fever please is a symptom that something an infectious process is going on and your body is giving you signal remember pain is not always a bad thing because most people that don't have pain yet they may be having some issues that they are not aware of before the pain comes it's already late the next kind of pain i said 12 pains but obviously we have more than 12 so it should be like 15. the next type of pain that you should not ignore is pain on your breasts a man a woman anything that is pain on your breast for women this happens your currently after your period it happens your current is just there okay please don't ignore it especially now when you now notice some lumps if you're a woman make sure you watch the video of how to do breast self-examination i'll put it on the description box as well if you're a man too anything that has to do with pain in your breasts please don't ignore it a man can have breast cancer okay so please don't ignore that kind of pain now there's this kind of pain that is very very dangerous in fact it's supposed to be the number one you are noticing a severe back pain and then it comes with incontinence like in the sense that you don't even know when you you know urinate or you know mess up your yourself this pain 
is a very dangerous pain. It could be as a result of nerve compression. It's called coda equina with nerve compression. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Coda equina syndrome, I beg your pardon, then with nerve compression. So please, if you notice this pain and you, it's almost like your downside, you can't feel it, please make sure you see the doctor. Now, if you notice a pain after giving you an injection or you had a procedure, you notice a serious, severe pain, do not take it for granted. Make sure you see your doctors or let your, your people know, okay? Please don't take it for granted. Finally, as a woman, if you notice that your period is so painful, anytime you're on your period, it is excruciatingly painful. Please go and see a gynecologist. Remember, if you want to see a gynecologist, a specialist, remember, we'll have them on ground right now. All you need to do is check the description box for the number. Book a consultation via WhatsApp and then you'll be referred to the doctor or the um, a consultant if you want to if you want to also talk to me let them know in the whatsapp section book a consultation and you'll get to talk to me so if you're a woman and you notice serious pain when you're on your period there are no more cramps that you can notice but when it becomes excruciatingly painful that you can't do anything you can't go to work you can't stand up go and see a doctor it may be an underlying condition that can affect your fertility as time goes on, it could be fibroid, it could be endometriosis, it could be PID, it could be anything. Okay, so remember, if you have more questions, put them in the comment section. By now, you should have liked this video. I don't know why people don't like my videos. You don't gift me, you don't do that super thanks thing, and then you still don't like. The least thing you can do is to like, to encourage me. These are information that will take you thousands of money to get. And it has to bring it to the hospital. Now, I've made it in a way that you don't need to go to the hospital. You have to consult with a doctor online. The doctor tells you what to do, tells you the test to do. You can do them, send him results, and then he prescribes for you. I'm trying. Come on. All right. Um, my name is Nosmeis. So I'm a nephrology nurse. So, like this video, share. Let me know if you have more, uh, more questions. For free consultation, follow me on Instagram at Nosmeis. Have a nice day. Bye.